Welcome, my dears, to your future spouse tarot reading. What you have in front of you are four lovers' cards from four different decks. Choose the one that most connects to you and then head on down to the description box for your timestamp for your reading. I'll see you there. Hello and welcome to those of you who chose group number one. Thank you for joining me here today. I was just checking the camera, make sure I'm there. Yes, because the last one was out of focus and that's okay. Things happen. So anyway, here we are, dear heart. Thank you so much for joining me for your pick a card reading for your lover's future spouse reading. So let's go ahead and get started and see what comes up what you can learn about who your future spouse is. And let's get into it, shall we? All right. Who is your future spouse? We're going to be using your energy, mind, tarot, and spirit to learn the information that you need to know. First cards out are the death card and the magician. Okay. We're going to go to our romance oracles and see what comes up. We'll take those. Children, give your relationship a chance and keep an open mind. So check this out. <laughs> I feel like your future spouse is someone that you knew as a childhood friend, my dear. Okay, you may have had a shot or a go at a relationship before um especially since you chose this card here i'm not sure that you made it all the way there to an official relationship but maybe you expressed your interest or tried to um try to get involved but it never got too deep okay and i feel like with this particular one that you chose with this lover's card that you chose that it kind of looks like the lady is looking at what the potential of the relationship could be inside of the photograph. And so I feel like this relationship um, is with a long term friend, like I said, possibly a childhood friend of yours. And, you know, you are going to have to keep an open mind. Both of you are going to have to keep it, keep an open mind because you've known each other for a long time and you're trying to transform this relationship, this friendship into a relationship and i also see that with the magician card so you're kind of both thinking about the possibilities of what this relationship can be it's going to have to transform and change just like this card says give romance a shot you know and so it may have been outlandish at first to both of you to consider being in a relationship together but now it doesn't seem so silly this seems like maybe you're coming around to it again, like this person is coming back into your life with the death card, okay? In the reverse. Let's see what else we can learn about them. Let's get some more about the story, okay? And their feelings and everything we need to know about this situation. What other information can we learn about this situation? What else do we have that we can learn about this situation? Okay, I'm going to take these two because they just kind of flipped over right in my hand. Okay. What else? What else can we learn about this relationship situation? Okay, so let's keep it going with this. Sorry about the dust from these. I, I'm a rough um, shuffler, so I kind of tear my cards up. So if they're not those hard cards, <laughs> then they get torn up, you know? All right. So here we are. We have the five of coins. Yes, this definitely feels like you're coming back after some type of transformation. I actually feel like maybe um, this person may have moved away um, when we have the world card here. Um, kind of moved away from where you currently live. You guys may be separated by distance or something like that. And with the fool card, I feel like there's a bit of fear with both of you here about worrying if each other feels the same way okay 
Like, are the feelings the same? Does this person care for you? Also with the King of Cups, this there's this fear here of pouring out your heart and really giving love a shot. You know, the King of Cups is very mature and um, very in touch with their feelings and very generous with their heart and love. In the reverse, it can kind of feel triggered and pouring all of the emotions everywhere. And I feel like there's an underlying current of that I don't know even a fear of abandonment but more of a fear of feeling like this person does not feel the same way about you and that is on both sides i feel like this relationship has the um, ability to grow into something larger and bigger and transform when we have the world card but it's only if you guys you know take this opportunity you're going to have to change it and change the way that you see each other when we have the fool and the magician here as well so it's you know like we say keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so you know this is someone that you knew right and but you also may know the good bad and the ugly about this person so you may know a lot of information about each other or it just may be not be who you thought it was going to be and it's going to you're coming back and transforming this relationship into something different and it is fearful and scary for both of you it feels like i want to take a look at their feelings for you and your feelings for them what are they feeling about you at this time let me take this one let's get a few more and then we're going to put some on that side for you and how are they feeling about you let's get a few more okay we'll take that one this person's gonna rally baby <laughs> this person's gonna rally they're gonna rise to the challenge and meet yeah they're gonna meet the challenge to this situation so even if they feel that it is a challenging situation um and even with the six of coins they may feel that they are reaching out and just feeling like almost almost like you're out of their league when i'm taking a look at the six of coins the way this card is coming up but I feel like they have gone off and grown up. I'm going to take a look at your before I finish. That. Let's take a look at your side. How do you feel about them? How is How are you feeling about them? I'm going to take this one. Okay. That's positive. Okay. All right. I think you're almost willing to lead the way here. Look at that high priestess. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see why they feel that way, my dear. You are a bit mysterious to them. I feel like you don't show all of your feelings and your emotions. Again, they feel like you may be out of their league a bit. Okay, but they're going to rise to the occasion because I feel like this person likes a challenge. I actually feel like they kind of, they've kind of gone off and grown up a bit with this emperor card. And they're grown now. So yes, you are mysterious. Yes, you um, do seem like you are almost light years ahead of them in some ways. They also feel like you're very, very attractive. Interestingly enough, I don't know if you can see this. And I don't want to hold the card up because I feel like that's what got it out of focus last time um, when I was trying to do the reading. Um, <clears throat> with this, this picture here, this person is holding a picture here. So I feel like this person has always kept you in the back of their mind for a long time, friend. And now they feel like they're established, like they're in a good place within their life with the Emperor and the Temperance card, like they've gotten themselves together and they're coming to you to make this relationship happen. Oh, isn't that nice? And I feel like you're willing to throw them kind of like a bone here because with this Hierophant card, I'm going to pull it down to here with this Hierophant card. It's like you kind of like showing them the way and they're like, oh, OK, oh, follow you here. OK, yes. So I feel like they are going to make the effort. They are fearful that you don't feel the same way, but they're going to still give it a shot because I feel like they've um, put you up on a pedestal for a long time. And now they're ready to try to make this relationship work and transform into something better different into a lover into a relationship into a marriage okay all right that is the reading that i have for you we're not going to keep it too long here so i hope that you got what you needed from this reading 
group one and let me know in the comments section if you did and I thank you so much for watching. Hello and welcome group number two. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Strawberry Mint channel. This is your future spouse pick a card reading. Today we are taking a look at who this person is and digging into it should be an interesting and fun reading for you guys today. So welcome to my channel and let's get started. All right, let's learn what brought you to this reading and what is currently going on in your love life? Okay. We have the Hermit and we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. So I do feel like you are tired of being alone, dear heart. I feel like it started off as a choice and that you are looking for a good and stable partner. Someone that has themselves together, someone that is secure. You feel like you haven't met the right person for you yet. And you feel like you've been waiting, waiting for a long time. Interesting now, you have to remember that the hermit is has chosen to be alone, okay? So I don't feel like solitude, like this card said, it's more of solitude than it is I'm lonely. I feel that you are a person that has high standards and with those high standards you want someone that is secure someone who has themselves together someone that is mature and ready for a relationship and honey you will hold out until you find that person okay so i feel like that is what's going on with you but you also want a partner in a match okay and you want to do this thing called life with someone else all right let's take a look at who this person is and how will you come together all right let's take that and let's take that we have then the knight of pentacles we have the sun okay so first off i'm seeing that you're going to have to break with your routine dear heart you're going to have to get out of the house a bit um, group two okay you're gonna have to get out of the house i know it's been an you know it was a choice you may even be enjoying your solitude but in order to attract this type of person to you um you're going to need to take a break from the, the routine okay when we have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is all about routine it makes them feel comfortable to be in um in a routine in something established but in order to i like this particular card because this is a couple on it here so the sun has a couple which is not something that you usually see so in order to have that person that's going to walk off into the sunset with you so to speak um you're going to have to actually get outdoors and start to do things okay so you're going to need to become active here and do some different things to get out and start meeting people okay so if this person isn't going to just show up to your front door so to speak okay let's see what else we have how are you going to come together? How are you going to meet? Let's see what we have. We're going to take that. We have the fool. I feel like you're a bit reluctant to do this, though, because um, I'm not sure if it's so much based in fear. I just feel like you've become very comfortable in your routine. And because of that, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. In fact, you may have to go outside of where you normally would venture out. You're going you may have to like change your location. It doesn't mean like move or anything, but go to someplace different with that fool because I feel like there is some stubbornness within you and um you just become comfortable, but you're going to have to shake things up in a major way so that you can meet the right type of person for you. And with this fool, you you're going to have to kind of go in a different location, a different place in order to bring this person into your life, okay? Like a place, I want to continue to say that, like a place outside of where you normally would be and go, okay? Let's find some more information about this, okay? How are, you, how are they going to come to me? Okay, that's two, three, and more. Let's get some on this side. Thought that was gonna come through. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. See, all of that kind of beautiful action energy. So let's see what we have: Two of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. I actually feel like once you get out and start to do stuff, start to socialize, kind of get on the scene, go places, 
um, it's not going to be hard for you once you get out there. Okay, so the big thing is I don't necessarily feel like it's such a I have to go to a specific type of place. It is um, getting out and actually dating. OK, it's getting out because once you get out, I feel like people are going to come flying on over to you. OK, I feel like people are going to find you very, very attractive. I feel like as soon as you start to get get out, I feel like especially with that positive energy of the sun, um, I feel like you have a lot of positive energy around you and surrounding you. I feel like you're very charismatic and people will be attracted to you. OK, I feel that you are going to be a magnet. OK, so actually meeting someone is not going to be difficult. I feel like people are going to be attracted to you and want to talk to you and things are going to pick up as you venture out and go out and go to new places and become seen. And also, um, maybe the queen, the queen of wands here is kind of a little bit of glamorous in here. And so it's kind of you might want to you know, spruce up a bit. Um, you know, when you go out, don't don't be afraid to put on your best clothing and look your best, of course, so that you can attract the, um, you know, so you can attract this person to you. You might want to, you know, polish up your appearance a bit, not saying that you're not beautiful or anything like that. But I'm looking at this and I feel like with this beautiful queen, she loves to take care of her appearance. And so that may be something that is I feel like you're gonna go out and look your best self and that will definitely help with this situation okay let's learn a little bit about who this person is okay we know kind of how you imagine them how you want them to be let's learn about what their character is like like and who your person what your person is like the person that you are going to marry okay I'm gonna take this the devil Don't be scared that you see the devil coming in, okay? The devil can be scary for some time, but we'll talk about it. Especially we'll see the surrounding cards. Let's learn a little bit more about who this person is. Who is okay, that's a big little chunk there. So we'll take that. That's great. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Moon. First of all, you're going to have more than one choice to make. Okay, and so that's what it is as well. So it may not necessarily be narrowing down to, we'll talk about it. You're going to have to narrow down your choice, okay? Ultimately, the person that you are going to attract is going to be charismatic. They are going to be stable. I feel like this is the embodiment of, you know, what you've what you've asked for with that king of pentacles just coming in as the queen of pentacles. So the queen here is um a little bit more gentle, a little bit more nurturing, which may be something that you forgot to add to your list, dear heart. You know what I mean? Um, this person is a little bit um obviously the king of pentacles is very generous, but the queen has a different a more nurturing side okay and so that person i feel like the person that you're attracted to you has all of all of the things that the king embodies but then has a little something extra <laughs> okay i feel like you are going to have more than one suitor when we talk about the two of swords here and the moon so i feel like thing is going to be kind of like a process of elimination through many conversations and you're going to feel confused about who is the right person and the right choice for you. Deception. Okay, now deception doesn't mean that we have with the devil. So you are um, going to have to kind of dig deep within the within this next phase of dating. Because I do feel like you're going to be a hot ticket. Okay, like many people are going to be attracted and interested in you. When we have the eight of wands coming in, like lots and lots of people. Um... I don't know, like a whole lot, but I mean, like you're going to have more than one suitor. And so you're going to have to have to narrow it down with the ultimate person who matches what this characteristic is. 
They're going to have a light and fun side. They're going to be exciting as well. But what you're going to have to do when you have the devil and the um, deception card is take off everyone's mask. You know, sometimes when we date, we want to put ourselves our best foot forward, right? And that's just a natural thing. But after that, you have to really discern who this person's character is. And so you will find yourself doing that. But ultimately, you are going to be attracted to what you were initially attracted to. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a process of you just deciding who is going to be the best fit for you, um, who matches the best description of what you want. And it's going to take a little bit of time when we have the moon, when we have going through the seasons of, you know, learning about the person. And that also will help you discern as time, as time progresses, you know, someone can't pretend to be who they are not for very long that usually happens the mask will come off and that will help you also decide who this person is but your ultimate pick will be what you did what you did initially want okay um let's see if i have any more messages for you nope that is what i have for you dear heart i hope that you found that this reading was helpful and i thank you so much for watching Hello my dears and welcome to your reading. This is your pick a card reading for your future spouse. Welcome to the Strawberry Mint channel my dears and thank you so much for joining me. Let's do it. Oh okay. Attraction. Okay the card that popped out for you is attraction. I'm gonna keep that okay. Interesting. All right so let's see <laughs> before I even got to talk. So let's talk about what brought you to this reading. And obviously you want to know about your future spouse, but what's going on in your love life? A great way for you to connect to this reading to see if you made the right pile for you and pick the right pile for you, right? And let's get started, okay? What's going on currently with the three's love life? I'm going to use a combination of my tarot skills, <laughs> my intuition, spirit, and your energy to get this reading going, okay? So let's take what is happening right here all right um hmm. we have the five of swords the hierophant and the six of swords i feel like you've had a difficult moment within a relationship with a person you may have even broken up or split apart um because you had an issue of commitment. You may have had a different idea of what this relationship meant or not have been on the same pages and you had words. Um, I'm not sure that this person is completely out of your life yet. We'll definitely pull some more cards. Um, you're trying to, I feel, move away, move to the from, from now and go on to the future, kind of get over things and move on. But I feel like the issue at the center and the heart was commitment and wanting different things. It was like a maze that you were trying to solve and it felt like you were going around in different circles and not able to get on the same page with this person about commitment, okay? So that's what it feels like was happening in your love life. Let's see how you are going to meet your future spouse. Who is this person? Let's learn all of that here together, okay? Let's see what we have. Coming up for you. Let's learn about your future spouse. Okay. Let's get into it. See, I like these kind of cards. The hard kind of plastic because it's easier, it makes a smoother shuffle, and I'm rough when I shuffle, so it doesn't tear up the cards as much. <laughs> Let's see what else we have coming up. Alright, that's okay. You can be stingy. Let's knock again. Are you ready? Come on, let's learn. Who is your future spouse? Are you ready to come out and talk? Who is your future spouse? Oh, there we go. Okay. Temperance card. The Four of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. King of Swords reverse, the Empress, Three of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. 
So let me tell you about what's getting ready to happen. You are going to go through a period of time. You're probably getting ready to go into that time right now where you're rebuilding yourself. Okay? Where you are rebuilding your self-esteem and self-worth. You also may be getting ready to go into like a new fitness plan, working on yourself with the Empress, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, really beginning to feel yourself and feel attractive again, um, attract people to, to you again. You're going to come into this place of feeling fruitful, feeling lovely, feeling balanced feeling as you've cast out any relationships and people who really didn't want to provide you with what you were looking for you're getting ready to level up yourself you're going to like being alone you're going to feel good being alone and you're going to really within this time coming to what is good for you and really focus on what you want your love life to be what type of person you want and I feel like you're going to set on some hardcore boundaries. I feel like you're going to have to kick this person completely out of your life. When I see the King of Swords, the Three of Swords here, which was a difficult thing for you to get over. You're going to have to actually draw a hardcore boundary. I feel that will happen and you will be able to finally release this person out of your life. So it's going to kind of be a combination of things. This relationship that we spoke about in the beginning. And then you making a hard line, a difficult decision, but ultimately having to really be a bit harsh in drawing your boundaries with this person and move on. And I feel like at the same time, after your period of feeling good, feeling back to yourself, feeling more in a relaxed state. I feel like you're going to be looking very, very good too, I want to say. Focusing on your beauty is going to be something that, and um, being comfortable in your skin, loving where you are in life, you're going to be thriving and doing well with this Empress and Nine of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles. You're going to attract an ultimately romantic figure, okay? This Knight of Cups. I feel like this Knight of Cups is coming in and this person is going to sweep you off of your feet. Very different than what you have been dealing with, okay? I want to say that. This is going to be very different than what you've experienced before in relationships, okay? Let's pull a few romance oracle cards. Or what you've experienced prior to this with this past person that you were with. Okay, let's pull a few romantic, romance oracle cards here. Uh -huh, reconciliation. Mm, we're going to talk about that. Okay, I'm going to put that one up here. And let's see what else we have going on. All right, I want to take this and this. Uh-huh. I feel like why I laughed about that because I feel like this person is going to try to come back more than once into your life. And it's going to cause a bit of conflict for you. But ultimately, I do feel like you're going to move on from this person, okay? Okay. Now, I'm not trying to say and tell you what to do. I'm just reading the cards. If you feel like this is your person, then hey, you know, that's your choice. But I do feel like another option is going to come up for you who is more romantic, that treats you better, that is more loving. But I do feel like this person is going to want to return. This, this ex, this person is going to want to return to your life and try to reconcile with you when you're feeling good, looking good. Two of Pentacles is on the bottom, but ultimately it's going to be the same type of ish. I want to say it's ultimately going to be the same type of cycle. So I don't want to, you know, rain on your parade or anything, but I definitely feel like something new is going to be coming in while this other person is trying to reconcile with you. So that's why you might have to be very, very strong with your boundaries because you're going to be looking good and feeling good. And so they may even see that. Um, see you thriving and that you know sometimes when we pull our energy away from someone that makes them more they can feel that and they want to come back and grab that okay but I do feel like you have a new figure coming into your life okay all right let's talk about more about who this person is that is going to be the one you're going to marry okay sometimes we got to get the a story of how everything is going to come together so that you can have a better understanding Okay, 
So let's learn more about who this person is. And that's kind of giving us the how you're going to come, how they're going to come into your life, you know, what the circumstances are going to be. So let's learn a little bit more about who this person is. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay. And we'll take these. Wow, that's a, quite a lot. You got a lot to say in this group after being very quiet, remember, in the beginning? <laughs> So we have the King of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Princess of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Hermit. Remember, we had the Hermit here, like kind of your, like your Hermit season. The Magician, the Devil, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel... This hermit actually is you being at a choice that you're going to have to make. This to me looks like having to make a choice, kind of being in a situation, especially when we had that with the devil, right? Of having to make a choice and deciding to move on, what are your next steps? Kind of feeling like you're in this box and you need to make a decision about what you're going to do next. Give yourself plenty of time. And I feel like you're going to give yourself plenty of time in order to kind of think about that. Think about what you want, um, you know, especially with that ex coming back into your life. You ultimately are want to be fulfilled and loved. So I feel like this person coming into your life is going to show you that. They're going to, matter of fact, overflow with love. They're going to offer your, their heart to you. And they have a lot of this king, uh, first of all, they're going to express their feelings to you. There's not going to be, you're not going to be confused about what they want. You're not going to be confused about their true desires for you or the relationship. They're going to show you what they want with this beautiful king of wands energy. They also <laughs> may be a fit person. Okay, maybe a person very into fitness and taking care of themselves and exercising as well. Um, but they very they they have a lot of leadership qualities. And so in that, they're going to tell you how they feel, how they feel. And they're not going to leave you feeling confused about the relationship or what they want to do next. So ultimately, you're going to have to make the choice because I do feel that, you know, this person, your ex is going to come in and kind of confuse you about the situation. OK, so as you are, you know, trying to move on and meet and uh, decide what you want to do with who could possibly be your future husband you know you're going to have to make that decision i also feel like your person um your future spouse is a person that I've, i'm going to tell you two things about this magician card first of all to tell you you have the ability to attract the love life that you truly desire your card was attraction coming out okay and i mean that on all on all sides like the law of attraction like you can have and manifest the life that you truly desire for yourself, okay? I also feel like your person, your future spouse is a person that believes that as well. They feel like they have the ability to go out and create the life that they truly want. They are a person that is a go-getter, okay? So not only are they action-oriented, but they are very loving with their heart, very giving with their heart. And they're going to let you know that you are a priority to them as well. That can also help you make your decision when you're making your decision. Does this person make you feel like you're a priority? Does your, you know, your ex or the person that you were dealing with before make you feel like a priority? Do they make you feel loved and, you know, or make you feel trapped? So that's something to think about. But <laughs> so your reading was a little bit different. I do feel like you're you're going to be having um, your ex come back into your life as you are meeting this other person that could be your future spouse. OK. All right. That is the reading that I have for you. I hope that you found that it was helpful. And I thank you so much for watching. Hello and welcome to the Strawberry Mint channel. This is your future spouse. Love a reading, the lover's future spouse reading. Welcome to your reading, my dears. And let's go ahead and get into it. This channel is going to focus on tarot, spirituality, and beauty. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. 
and let's get into it. So what brought you here, my dear, to this reading? What's going on currently in your love life? Great way for you to take a moment to see if you've selected the right pile. Okay? Okay, well, we're going to take that. Looks like we have <laughs> kind of like five cards. The Fool. The Five of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. The Six of... Ah. Uh, Okay, and the two, the six of discs and the two of cups. I feel like you want to know, my dear, if this person that you are in a relationship with, are you going to get married to this person? Is this your person? You're on this reading wondering if <laughs> this person is going to match up. This reading is going to match up with the one that you're currently with. Okay, um, I feel like everything is not all together in this relationship especially when i'm seeing the five of swords and the seven of pentacles I, but i feel like you are overflowing with love for this person um i feel and why i feel like not everything is in alignment quite when i see the five of swords you may have gone through a rough patch with this person and I see this seven of discs. When I see this particular one, I always think about the alignment of the chakras. And so it feels like it's leaning here. Okay. But I definitely feel like you really are head over heels for this person and in love with this person. And you want to know if this is going to be your person. Are you going to make a new start with this person? Is this going to be the one you are going to marry? Okay. All right. Let me see if I have anything else to say. Not right now. I want to take a look at the rest of the cards that come up for this. So tell me about what's going on in this connection. All right. Um, what's going on in this connection? Who is your... Well, uh, let's see. Let me take a, t a quick peek at to what is going on in this connection. I'm going to take a romance over the time. What is going on in this connection right now? All right. Let me take a look and see what is currently going on in this connection. Ooh. Okay. Release your ex. Okay. You may be struggling with that because you have chemistry with this person. Okay? That you have some real chemistry. And this may make you feel like the chemistry is so strong in this relationship that it may make you feel like it is your soulmate. Okay? That's a pretty clear card when it says release your ex. But that is up to you. And we're going to do some more reading within this um to see what's coming up your reading may be taking a different turn which i always have that in a reading when i do there's always a wild card <laughs> a wild group here wild card and so i was thinking about this too because um i was thinking about the new beginning but i was also feeling like maybe there is some type of feeling like you're on your own too so that's interesting that's why i said if something felt like it was out of alignment okay but let's take a look and see. All right, so we have chemistry and release your ex. All right, so let's let's see what's going on. How does this person feel about you? And don't worry, we are going to talk about your future spouse. I just want to take a peek into this. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Okay, that's card going for. I'm going to pick that up in just a second. If you're new to my channel, you and I'm a wild shuffler, so my cards may pop out into wherever. <laughs> and I always like to say that the spirit is strong <laughs> when it does that. All right, so we have the king of wands and the universe. So I feel like there is an issue of control within this relationship and an issue of where the relationship is going. I do see with the universe that there may have been some kind of breakup for sure with the universe because the universe talks about new beginnings, cycles, one cycle ending and the next one beginning, okay? And that is, so I feel like your your person is in limbo right now and not knowing what's the next cycle, the next phase or what they where they want to go within this relationship because of where the king of wands is, okay? So I feel like you may have fallen out because of not being on the same page about commitment or this person not really giving you what you needed. But I feel like this person is confused about 
where the next phase of this relationship is and where they are going next. Because it had the king have been turned this way, I would say, yeah, this person is deciding that, you know, there's a future that they want. But with it being reversed, it kind of is, they're not taking that leadership role. They're not making that shot for the, you know, they're not taking the next steps. Okay. So let's see what, what is coming up. How are you going to meet your future spouse? I just want to give you a peek in there, but I don't want to spend too much time because this isn't a their feelings for you reading okay i do have another video on this channel about their feelings so if you want to check that out you can um but let's take a look at who your future spouse is okay you are just giving me chunks of cards that is so interesting okay so we have the eight of cups we have the nine of wands we have the five of wands we have the moon we have the Prince of Cups and then the Three of Pentacles. This energy of this relationship is going to have to clear in order for you to know what's coming next for you. Okay, because I'm taking a look at the Eight of Cups. I do feel like you are going to move on from this, but I feel like you're very, very conflicted. And until you clear, I do feel like you're going to clear it, though. When I'm taking a look at the Three of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to get back on your feet and clear this. But it's going to be after you're going to feel very conflicted about releasing this person, this ex from your life. Now, I always want to say that to you that these are tarot readings. So ultimately, you make your own decisions and choices, not a YouTube video, a tarot reading. It's just to offer you guidance. But you know what feels right to you in your life. Okay, but I am taking a look at some very, a lot of confusion. And so with this confusion, I don't necessarily see a clear path to your future spouse just yet. And I think it's because of the current energy of what is happening with you and the love that you feel for this person. That energy is so strong that any future energy is not being picked up. I do feel like you're going to get yourself in alignment when I have this three of pentacles here. You're going to figure this out. But I feel like the focus of your life right now is you feel very conflicted about leaving this relationship. You, be, you feel very conflicted about the information that you're hearing. You feel very conflicted about this relationship, this person. And so this energy is very, very hazy and it's making it difficult to see any future energies for you about attracting a new person to you. Just take a look at this. We have the Eight of Cups. This is about walking away, but you are going to become strong and resilient. But there is also some conflict that you, you feel conflicted. The moon, you're, you're, you're working through it, but you're going to need to take some time to make a decision and you are very not clear about that especially when you have this release your ex card the way it looks think about this like you like it's you're very reluctant to do it you're very much still in the energy of this relationship and this person and so i feel that that is overpowering any other messages that we can receive about who your future spouse may be group four Let's take a, a dip, a turn here and see if I can give you some advice on this particular situation. Let's see. Let's see how we can. What do you need to know about this situation? What do you need to know and understand about this relationship, this person and you and this connection? See, all of yours come out in chunks. That is so funny to me. So we have the Prince of Discs, we have the King of Discs, we have the Devil, and then we have the Ace of Wands, okay? We also have Let's take a few romance cards. Are you going to okay? Let your friends help you.
your friends may also be seeing the pattern of what is going on within this connection and they may have a very strong opinion about this and so Honey, I feel very much so that this relationship here is a huge part of your life and a very big priority. You have to think about this with the devil card. I feel like this, this relationship is, it feels like your world right now. Take a look at this king of pentacles and this prince, prince, um, the princess of this cup. This relationship in this person feels like your your world right now this seems like this is your center this and i feel like you're having difficulty being able to get around this and make a new start i feel like a new start is available to you and that you can work your way through it but i feel like right now you have a very deep attachment to this person this relationship and until you deal with that I feel like honestly you want to make this person your future spouse you want this person to be your future spouse you want this person to be with you and you're hoping that there will be a new start so I feel like this is what you honestly are set on I feel like you're set on being with this person I really do honey I don't feel like I feel like this is who you choose I feel like the chemistry and the sexual attraction is very strong with this person. And so I feel like everything is ultimately up to you as it is anyway. It is your life. So I feel like I don't have any other future predictions for you. I feel like this is something that is very important to you. And this relationship is something that you're going to have to kind of work out. But I feel like you are really set on this person and making this person your person. You're in love with them and you're hoping against everything that this is going to be the one that you want. So that is all I have <laughs> to say. There's nothing I can say other than, you know, the choice is yours. So you do what you feel is best, my dear. Okay, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope that it is helpful and I thank you so much for watching.